<laughs> I don't know. Bo, Bo uh, said I could hang out with the cool kids today. Did you, you tell him that, Bo? Oh, well, I did. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, really. Deep in the woods, deep in the woods, it was ringing real good. Oh, my God. <laughs> ten inches down, ten inches down, you. in a solid sound. Mule shoe, mule shoe, you're so sweet. I'm gonna take you home with me. I dug it oh. up. <laughs> So there's a couple things happening here in this video. Unfortunately, um, one of my last days in England, I spent an entire day recording clips and it turned out that there was no audio on any of them when I got back to review them. So that was kind of a little bit of a bummer. <laughs> but I still wanted to share some of the footage with you because it was really exciting and I found some pretty great stuff. So I'm gonna throw that at you along with some outtakes and clips that I didn't use in previous videos. I also want to answer some of the questions you've been asking me in the comments over the course of posting this footage from England. I want to talk a little bit about metal detecting holidays. And last but not least, I think I owe you a sweatshirt giveaway. So I'm finally going to get around to giving away the sweatshirt. Um, so yeah, make sure you stick around and check out this footage. We are out in the middle of a cow pasture right now. And Bo is like in the middle of the herd of cows. They all surrounded him, like all of them. Okay, so I'm a little wired in right now. I got my phone on the charger because I'm running out of battery. I did just find an old button, so buttons are fun, right? a coin. I thought maybe it was going to be a coin. Um, but it's just a shiny little tom back. So I'd never really gotten into Nettles before until like two weeks ago. And since then, it's like every day. Like just now on my hand right here. And it burns and it burns. Freaking Nettles. Ugh. Bo tried to get me grab a handful and feed the cows the other day. He said they really liked them, but I didn't fall for that one. There he is laughing at me. Nettles on my hand. Yeah, I did. Right, maybe you should sit in the truck for a while. <laughs> it's Daisy, the cow. What's her name? Daisy. Stiff in my butt right now. <laughs> Is she your friend? Yeah, we're best friends. I'm gonna try to take her home with me. We'll see how that goes. Are you gonna eat her? <gasps> no, we're friends. She looks we're delicious. Friends. We're friends. Is that nice? Oh yeah, okay. That's the spot right there. Oh, it's so sweet. Till it like knocks <laughs> me over, tramples me to death. <laughs> it'll, it'll just butt you over oh and start God. jumping on you. <laughs> you are something else. I like you. You gonna follow me around now? You're a little stinky. Are you afraid of them like yesterday? Hmm? This one's cute though. This uh, is Daisy. Well, they're they're also like oh. tiny compared to Daisy, those giants. Um, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Davy. <laughs> that's a bull right now that I'm petting. Hello, Hello Davy. I'm not looking under. I think they're all bulls out here. I could be wrong though. That's cute though, huh? Uh, that's really? not a girl. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, Sorry, scared, scared Daisy. You scared it. <laughs> You're okay. Wanna go?
protecting with me? What do you have there, Nigel, from Wagton? I've got a very nice little thimble. It's very cute. It's very cute, but uh, not terribly old, I'm afraid. Oh. Well, what do you have, Bob? Oh, I have a treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a hunk of lead. That's fancy. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, nice. And this button. Oh, you found that button. It's now my button. It's now my button. <laughs> <laughs> More energy. More Holy, energy, you're right. I've been detecting for like five yeah, days yeah, straight. Yeah, yeah. Low energy, oh, sad. But I did get. <laughs> ah, Crittlebell. Oh, Crittlebell. Dom loves Crittlebell yeah. for her feet. Well, it's got some it's markings like on the bottom. That would be nice. Yay. So might get might sense. get a little bit of detail off that. Yeah. And the suspension loop's intact, so that's yeah. not why it was lost. Mm -hmm. The animal mm -hmm. probably died. He died. Is that Absolutely. like some Roman thing? Right this, this is a Roman nut. Yeah. This is a Roman nut. I think I've yeah. seen those That'd before. be for the chariot wheel. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. What did you get, Ringmaster I found a coin! <laughs> I like coins! I like coins! <laughs> I like buttons, yes. too. I found a button and a coin. Oh. That's convenient. <laughs> I like both things and I happen to find them. Do you like spoons? I do like spoons. Yeah, haven't you found any? I found three spoons. <laughs> I've actually found four spoons. I found three today. I just found a flat button. Let's see. Spoonmeister. Check out this one though. This is not a flat button. A this is a livery button. And if KG Ooh. can see this, he'll know that my livery button is much larger than his livery button. <laughs> <laughs> Me good, KG not good. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Oh, I found another really cool thing. It's so neat. Checked it, yes, because it's so awesome. What would that possibly be? Oh, ho, ho, ho! I hate Hammered silver. Nice. Short wow. cross. So now you're in the hammer club. I am. Now I can hang with the cool kids. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't know. Bo, Bo said I could hang out with the cool kids today. <laughs> did you, you tell him that, Bo? Oh, well, I did. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, really. Okay, I kind of strayed away from everyone else. They decided to stay over in the other field because Tim just got hammered. So they're like, well, we're staying here. All right, I'm gonna go off into this field by myself. First hit, right over the gate. It's a flat button. That's promising. So I'm gonna keep going, see what else I can get. Okay, I just got another little button. I thought at first it was a coin. I was pretty excited, but I'll take a button. Hedge fodder, so they call it here. I like bring it home and put it in my relic case, and I'm like, oh, look at this awesome button I got. I'll take that. This looks relatively old. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but. Eh. Guess I'll take it.
It's our last night in England. Uh, it's obviously getting very dark. All you see across the field is the glow of AT Max headphones. <laughs> but this entire experience has just been a whirlwind of excitement from detectable to metal detecting holidays. And I just wanted to say thank you to Garrett Metal Detectors, Metal Detecting Holidays, Regton, and American Digger Magazine for making this all happen. So I guess I will see you back in the States. I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about my experience metal detecting in England. Um, as many of you probably gathered from the videos, Bo and I went over for Detectable, which was a very long weekend, walking miles across fields and meeting lots of really cool people. And after that, we jumped in a car, we drove three hours to the border of Wales um, to meet up with Metal Detecting Holidays. Now, Metal Detecting Holidays provides metal detecting tours for people here in the United States who want to get on really old treasure. <laughs> so they, they basically, they supply your lodging, breakfast, lunch, transportation, your expert license. They handle everything. Um, and you just go over there and you dig your little hearts out and you find amazing stuff. Um, now, you can visit their website. It's www that metal detecting holiday is that co.uk um Bo did this really killer video all about the experience um so i'm gonna link that down below because he explained it so much better than i ever could um so make sure you go check out that video make sure you check out metal detecting holidays if you ever plan on visiting england for a little bit of digging and um all right okay so a lot of people are asking me Will you get your stuff back? When will you get it back? Um, I received some news about the French treasure coin. It turns out the placement of the hole, since it's straight through the guy's head, uh, does not classify it as treasure. So it's going to be thrown in with the rest of the stuff. And I should get that back in the next couple months. Uh, the way the process works there is they catalog everything that's older than 50 years. So everything needs to be cataloged and then it's exported. And when the process is all said and done, it takes about two to three months. <laughs> Or more. Probably more. Every, everything's so slow over there. But eventually I will get the stuff back. And the piece of trench art that I found in the backyard with all those coins, I'm actually loaning to the local museum because there was a World War II camp not far from where I found it. So I guess they have a museum and they're going to include that piece of trench art in the museum. So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty thrilled about that. All right, so to select the sweatshirt giveaway winner, I'm just going to run a random name generator with the URL of the YouTube video. And I'll post the winner down here and make sure that you're notified. Uh, so you can get in contact with me, let me know your size, and we'll get the sweatshirt out to you. It's shipping from the UK, so it might be a little while before you get it if you're not in the UK. <laughs> but please be patient. Okay.